Alright guys, so I just wanted to go over a way too early look at the 2024 U.S. presidential election. You know, what are the odds? What am I thinking when it comes to some of these candidates? The first thing we're going to do is look at the recent polling data. Donald Trump uh, significantly up over DeSantis. We're waiting for DeSantis to officially announce he's running. And let me just give my quick kind of prediction on the Republican primaries. To me, this is going to be completely different than in 2016. After Super Tuesday, maybe even before Super Tuesday, the Republicans are actually going to do something very similar to what the Democrats did. So there's a major uh, establishment Republican base that doesn't want Trump to be the guy. I'm guessing they're going to, they have their guy in DeSantis. They're going to tell Nikki Haley, get out of the race. You're costing DeSantis votes. Any other person, Tim Scott, whoever else is in it, uh, you need to leave. I don't think, you know, obviously Vivek Ramanswamy would, would get out of the race. He's more of a, almost like a Trump type candidate, or he seems to be dis- attacking DeSantis a little bit more. But I do think the Republicans in 2024 in the primaries are going to be a lot more proactive and really it only hurts DeSantis. Nikki Haley, I mean, she's just stealing votes from him right now. I mean, obviously this is just polls, but in general, if Nikki Haley drops out today, DeSantis would probably get the majority of those votes. So I'm guessing a lot of these candidates are going to drop out relatively quickly. I don't know if it'll matter I know DeSantis has been getting double teamed from Trump and the Democrats recently, uh, but he is going to try and kickstart his campaign. I I would imagine, you know, he's waited mainly due to some legal things or whatever, you know, being the governor in Florida, he can't announce, but it's been kind of a weird situation with him going around doing a media tour and not really announcing. Mike Pence has zero chance. I I don't, you know, I'm not even sure Mike Pence has announced he's going to run. Uh, maybe if it was 2008, maybe if it was 2008, uh, Nikki Haley, same thing, zero chance. Vivek Ramanswamy, I, I love Vivek. I, I think he's a really good dude. I mean, listen, you know, we haven't heard anything negative come out about him. And I'm sure if he actually got significant, you know, in, in terms of the polls, there would be some attacks. But I mean, that's a pretty nice CBS News poll that's got him up to five, you know, five points He's trending up, it seems. He's invested a lot into this election, and he certainly, I mean, he's working harder than any other Republican right now by far on the campaign trail. He's smarter than everyone else. Uh, the only issue is he's he's, he's very young, but uh, that is the Republican side, the Democrat side. Really weird situation with Biden. A lot of Democrats absolutely hate Biden, especially younger Democrats. Uh, you know, the, the Democrats right now, They need Donald Trump to be the Republican nominee because Joe Biden is not going to motivate anyone to vote. They it's like the Democrats need to motivate their base by saying, oh, if you don't vote for Biden, Trump's going to get back in. That's why they need Trump to run. That's why there's all this negative stuff coming about DeSantis. They don't want DeSantis to be the Republican nominee if DeSantis faces Biden. I mean, listen, a lot can happen between now and the actual election, but I think it'll be a bloodbath. The American people want someone younger. They want someone that actually knows what he's doing. I think Vivek Ramanswamy is really the only one that's hitting the nail on the head. When it came out that Biden was going to run again in 2024, which I still don't believe, but it has come out that he's launching uh, his campaign to run again. Uh, Vivek Ramanswamy said, listen, there's no sense in getting angry at Biden It's basically a puppet system. Biden is the useful dummy who really doesn't do anything. And obviously, we know that he can't do anything cognitively. He's not capable of really even stringing two sentences together. So Biden is just their dummy. Remember, these are the same people that said, oh, we love democracy and things like that. Meanwhile, the person that we're supposed to vote for, Joe Biden, has no say or no control over anything. He's 82 years old. This is ridiculous. I'm not trying to like be against old people. You cannot be president at 82, 83, 84. Any normal younger person agrees with me. That's why the Democrats are worried 
if it is DeSantis, will we be able to get all these people to vote? Of course, if it's Trump, they'll just do their whole thing and say Trump's Hitler. Uh, you know, he's going to murder people, things like that. That That's how they can fear monger and get people, get people to vote. I don't know if they can do it with DeSantis. I know they've, you know, tried to call DeSantis fascist, racist. I, they're going to do whatever. I don't know. Uh, but RFK... Uh, you know, people saying maybe RFK can do something. I really doubt it. That That is not who the Democrats would really, uh, you know, in, in terms of someone possibly, you know, upending Biden, it wouldn't be Kennedy. Kennedy is, you know, anti-vax. If the Democrats really view him as a threat, they will just launch a huge propaganda campaign against him for being anti-vax. And, and even, you know, those people are just, he would not do well, trust me. I did see there was a recent poll that came out about him that he was actually had a good approval rating, but there were a lot of people that were unsure of him. And then Williamson, I, I just don't see it. I, they're also not letting uh, Biden debate or they don't want him to debate. I mean, it makes sense. He's the incumbent. Uh, the key is, and this is why I would want someone like Vivek Ramanswamy like, if Vivek Ramanswamy debated Biden, it, it would be elderly abuse. It would be really bad. Like, dude, if Trump is debating Biden, I will... Oh, my God. It's just so bad. And it's not that I hate Trump. It's just he's not good at debating at all. And I actually think DeSantis probably also isn't good at debating, but I haven't seen him yet, so we'll see. Uh, but right now, I mean, it, it's looking like they are going to go with Biden. Uh, but looking at the actual betting... Prison match, uh, first to serve time in prison, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? <laughs> I would not advise betting this at all. Uh, I don't think either of them are going to serve any time in prison. The whole uh, you know thing with Trump, the indictment, that was actually a ploy by the Democrats to make Trump appear more likable within the Republican Party because they want to face Trump in the general election. It's so easy to see through all this crap. Will Donald Trump avoid the New York trial with a plea bargain? Uh, you know, I, I would not advise betting that. I mean, those odds are just terrible. Will Joe Biden pardon Donald Trump? No, uh, but it's minus 1,400. Will Donald Trump be found guilty of one or more felonies in New York? No, uh, and I, I would say minus 220 for sure. Again, I don't think the Democrats did this to... Like the Demo it would be so dumb if the Democrats got somehow Trump disqualified from 2024. Trump is a major asset to the Democrats because think about this. Even if the Republicans band together against Trump and say everyone needs to back out, just let DeSantis face Trump, and then DeSantis beats Trump in the primaries. You know Trump's going to get so angry, he's going to say, oh, it's ridiculous, they, 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 they colluded against me, all the Republican establishment colluded against me, and then he runs in the general election as an independent? You don't think that's, a ma that's not a major asset for the Democrats? Come on. The, the Democrats would be so dumb to get Trump out of this race, and it would honestly be very good for the concert, for the Republicans. It would be Raman Swamy versus DeSantis, and then you've got the Democratic candidate, Joe Biden, minus 700. Uh, yeah, I, I, dude, I just can't buy. I, I, I think they have to go with someone else. I know he's launching his, his re-election campaign and things like that. I just cannot see people being motivated to vote for an 82-year-old white dude who can barely even string a sentence together. It's just shocking to me. Uh, the main problem for the Democrats is they just don't have anyone else. I'm guessing they thought maybe someone like Gavin Newsom, who reminds me a lot of Justin Trudeau, maybe he might be a little likable. He possibly could be a guy that would take over for Biden. He certainly is a lot more sharp than Biden at this point in his political career. But uh, yeah, Newsom is extremely unlikable. Kamala, uh, absurdly unlikable. Almost shocking how bad she's done as VP. Michelle Obama, that would be like their guardian angel. I mean, that's that would be... Uh, but again, that's a thing where if Michelle Obama somehow got into this race for the Democrats, you would get all the black vote and you would get more of it because there would be more people coming out to vote for Michelle Obama than there would be for Joe Biden. And then you would also get, with Michelle Obama, the whole woman card. And you want the first woman president and there would be women that specifically come out to vote because they want to see a woman president and they're just not going to be as incentivized to vote for Biden. He, it's just, 
Like, I don't think they're going to go with Biden, personally. We'll see what happens. I mean, he you do get the incumbent advantage, but, I mean, it's almost an insult to voters' intelligence. What is the overall strategy here, if you are the Democrats, to have Joe Biden be the president at age 85? Like, at some point, we have to actually start doing some critical thinking here and being like, this is ridiculous. Uh, and then you can see the popular vote winner, uh, you know, if Trump is the Republican nominee, I guarantee you the Democrats will win the popular vote. Uh, the reason they're able to do that against Trump, Trump is so hated in these super liberal cities, they run up massive margins against him, like in LA, New York City, things like that. If it is DeSantis, I could see DeSantis winning the popular vote very narrowly uh, because he's not as polarizing. But yes, Trump can win the election, but I very doubt he would win the popular vote because he's so polarizing and, uh, you know, people in the liberal cities are just so against him. They will come out and, and vote no matter what. The Republican candidate, you've got Trump sitting minus 190. He's kind of moved up a little bit. It was really a tie with him and DeSantis, but it's just, I mean, that is a crazy look at the board right there. Trump is minus 190, DeSantis is plus 280, and then everyone else is a complete long shot. Uh, when it comes to the Republicans, I don't know what why uh, Raman Swamy's not on here. There's Tucker Carlson. Imagine, dude, that I would honestly want to see it. Who cares? I, I'd love to see Tucker Carlson come out tomorrow and just say, "Screw it, I'm launching my you know campaign for presidency." I mean, I'm sure he'd get a ton of support after the whole Fox News thing. It would just be funny to see. He'd probably go from plus twenty five hundred to like plus a thousand in a day. Uh, Mike Pence, zero chance. Tim Scott, zero chance. Glenn Youngkin, I mean, he had a really impressive win in Virginia. I'm not even sure he's running. Uh, and, and then really everyone else there just, it would be very surprising. The only person I can think of, I mean, Nikki Haley, no chance either. There's so many of these people that just, it, it, where we are at with the Republican Party, Nikki Haley. So the problem with like a Nikki Haley or a Mike Pence type, they would just get bullied by the media. And what I mean by that, and this is one of the good things that came from Trump, uh, the media is so liberal that if you don't punch back against the bully, you will just get destroyed. And that's what Trump did. And kind of in a classic schoolyard situation, if you keep getting bullied and bullied and then you finally punch the bully, the bully immediately cries and plays the victim. That's exactly what CNN and MSNBC did uh, when Trump punched back against them, called them fake news. I thought that was very important. And, and that's why I really don't have anything against Trump. It's just I, I, I have major concerns about him winning the general election. Republican vice president, I would imagine if Trump, really Trump or DeSantis 1000% would pick a woman. That's just my speculation. But I also think Trump would as well. I do not think it would be a good idea to pick Carrie Lake if you're Trump. The problem is it's just like, the, it's the same thing. You need someone that's a little more down to earth. Tulsi Gabbard would be amazing. I don't know if she would do it. Well, you know, there's Ron DeSantis. I think that would be so dumb for DeSantis in his political career to be the VP for Trump. Imagine if you're DeSantis, you don't run, you're the VP for Trump, and Trump loses in the general. I just think that would be terrible for his career. Uh, Mike Pence, I don't even know why he would be on there. But yeah, there's some interesting ones. I would imagine Trump would choose some woman. Uh, you know, maybe one of those women that has plus 800 odds, but I don't know. You know, if it is someone else like DeSantis, uh, he's definitely choosing a woman. But either way, we will see. Imagine Trump and Nikki Haley. I, I don't like that. Uh, and then the winner, you've got Biden plus 140 because, you know, he's kind of already in the race. You've got Trump plus 250, DeSantis plus... There's some decent value on DeSantis plus 550, I think the major issue with this is, uh, like, there, this, I would just never bet something like this. It's just too far out. You're going to have your money tied up into this for over a year, you know? It's just something fun to look at. RFK plus 1,600. Yeah, it, it's not going to happen with him. Kamala, no. Nikki Haley. Uh, the only person I would say, I'm just going to look like Elizabeth Warren. It's not going to happen. Pete Buttigieg, zero chance. Uh, Raman Swami, I would I would be interested in placing a bet on Raman Swami plus 10k. 
I think that's great value. I mean, how is Glenn Youngkin plus 7K? But I guess because Glenn Youngkin had a nice win. But yeah, I mean, I think Raman Swamy's probably the great value on the board here. He's smarter than everyone in, in this race. He's a better speaker. You know, when they have the debates, I'm sure people are going to be blown away by him. They just don't know who he is right now. But, uh, and then how about some of these other people? AOC. Dude, why is AOC such a lunatic? I saw something today about AOC. So there's this big race thing going on in America, right, guys? This is just great. You've got a white dude choking out a black dude out of New York subway. And it turns out the black dude is just this thug who had 44 arrests. This guy had been arrested 44 times. And AOC comes out and says, the white guy, who I think is a Marine, says the white guy murdered the black dude and called him a murderer. And then the black governor, Eric Adams, came out against AOC and said this woman has no clue what she's talking about. It's like, why would you say that? You think we don't have eyes and we can't see? A dude has 44 arrests in his history. He's been known to be an absolute buffoon on the subways. He doesn't act normal. If you play stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. If you act up in public, if you're obnoxious, you're going to, something's going to happen. Uh, and then AOC comes out and says, the dude, like, oh, he got murdered. And then the black mayor says, this woman, AOC, has no clue what she's talking about. It's like, you're smarter than this, AOC. Why? Why lie and, and do this whole race baiting stuff? It just makes no sense. Uh, but there she is. And, and yeah, I mean, I'm guessing AOC is probably going to try and do, uh, run you know, I, we'll have to see in 2028, 2032. She, you would say she's too young at this point. I believe she might have just gotten eligible. Uh, Raman Swamy, by the way, I believe is only 37 as well. So he's also young uh, in comparison to most of these people. But yeah, I mean, if it's Biden versus Trump, it's just a hellscape, man. I, you know, we don't, I, I don't know, man. I, I think if it's Biden, Trump, Trump can certainly win, but you know, it's going to be very close. If it's Biden versus DeSantis, I think DeSantis wins easily. As long as he can debate well and, and presents himself well, you know, if I had to pick right now, I would say DeSantis versus Biden, but DeSantis really has to turn it on. He's got to announce and he's got to start, you know, fighting back against these attacks because he's been getting destroyed by both Trump and the Democrats. We will see. Uh, but maybe Vivek Ramanswamy as a dark horse and then maybe Michelle Obama. But that's just if she wants to run. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure it probably will be Joe Biden. So we'll see what happens there. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.